Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm in my shower because I thought this would be a really appropriate place to film this video. I want to share how I got rid of my ingrown hairs with you guys. And under that umbrella is just how I really cleared up and maintained, you know, razor burn, redness, bumps, and all of that that you don't really want on your skin, especially in the summer when you're in your nice bathing suit and you don't want to have any painful bumps on your legs and just irritations and you want your skin to be smooth and glowing and all the good stuff. So I'm here to dish my tips and how I basically cleared it up naturally. So for me, my ingrown hairs were really, really bad last year, especially last, I would say like spring was when it was the worst. And we were about to go away to on our trip to Florida every April. And I was just so mortified. I didn't want to wear a bathing suit. I didn't want to do anything. So my ingrown hairs were super bad around my bikini line. And I don't really have them anywhere else. That was like the worst area for me. You know, my legs here and there, but the bikini line was just so terrible. And I had pigmentation as well. And I was just so self-conscious. I didn't want to even wear a bathing suit. I just remember wearing shorts and not wanting to go anywhere. And I started to just purchase a lot of natural products. I started to do a lot of research, purchasing products obviously marketed towards helping with ingrown hairs and whatnot. I was just really desperate, like I wanted to get rid of it. Kind of like my acne, I just wanted to get rid of that. And for me, uh, I'm really just focused on the end goal. I'm like, okay, what can I do to get rid of this? Like I'm just, that's why I really have no before and after photos because I'm just so focused on like, I need to just get rid of this. Like what's going on right now? Why is my skin so inflamed? So anyways, a little backstory, but I used to do a lot of waxing every month. Last year, I really started to get frequent with my waxing. I went once a month and really before that, I never did anything like no waxing, like once a year, maybe when we went to Florida. But other than that, like I was just shaving and doing that and like totally stayed away from any, you know, hair removal, waxing, never did laser. And I really attribute my ingrown hairs to waxing because once I started to do it frequently, I noticed that my skin started to get really messed up in a way. Like my skin was just getting, especially in the bikini line, that's really where I mainly got waxed. But I thought it was you know, better than shaving. They always told me when I went, oh yeah, waxing so much better than shaving. Of course, they're telling you that because they want you to come and spend your money there. I didn't really put two and two together until I noticed that my skin was bruising and that it was turning like purple and blue. And I was like, okay, this is not normal. My skin should not be doing this. Whenever I went to waxing, it's like they rip it off. It's like, and it's kills. And it's like, this is not good for you. Like, you know, you start to put two and two together, right? Like, should I really be doing this to my skin, to my body? Should I be like ripping my hairs out like this? like a savage <laughs> like no so anyways i decided to start researching i found out that waxing is actually not very good for you at all um especially going once a month you know like once a year you know you're not really going to notice any craziness happening but for me i just started to notice my skin just started to go downhill in terms of the ingrown hairs red bumps just total irritation total mayhem pigmentation all of that i started to get into any natural remedy I could find, started to research, started to purchase all these products marketed towards um, just ingrown hair relief with essential oils. So I was really trying to focus on just natural. And then I got to a point where it's like, okay, I'm really desperate. Like I actually will use a chemical if it works right now or, you know, something else. So anyways, I stumbled upon sugaring, which is an alternative hair removal method with sugar. And that honestly made such a difference for me. I highly recommend sugaring actually as like a top way to remove hair. It's even better than shaving, obviously. So um, I don't do it like every single month or all the time. Like I do use a razor and I'll show you guys which razor I use and why I switched and how my razor was being a part of the problem too. It was irritating my skin even more, which I didn't even know. So I started to do sugaring, made you know a bit of a difference, help with the ingrown hairs, but then all of a sudden my ingrown hair started to get worse. So the girl who was doing my sugaring was really knowledgeable. She knew all about Ayurveda and she was telling me about all these different tips and whatnot. And of course I was already putting like my skincare products down there and like trying to figure things out. And I highly recommend that I start laser hair removal. So I started laser hair removal and honestly that helped so much with the ingrown hairs and the pigmentation. 
but what really helped is because I would get laser and you would go I, I went like every four weeks and then every five weeks so it depends on like obviously how much hair you have and yeah it's just all individual so on how often you should go but it was about every every month like I would go and get my treatment and um in between that time, I obviously used products and um, I switched my razor and all these things that I had no idea was just re-irritating my skin and causing more ingrowns because I remember just getting the laser, my skin would be like pretty good, it would be like getting better and then it would just go kind of downhill and I would go back for laser and she was all surprised, the girl who did my laser, like, oh, why is your skin like, you know, not really progressing? Anyways, I I digress. So I have some of the products that I use on a daily basis that I attribute to getting rid of my ingrown hairs and I'll talk about that first and then I'll move into talking about what I do to shave and how I really don't get any bumps, redness, razor burn or anything on my skin. So first off, what I do for my ingrown hairs and I did like a bit of a treatment was I had like this little routine. So this was when I was actually formulating clear when I was going through the process and I was working on clear for acne and blackheads for the face and I mean anywhere in the body and the back as well as an intensive treatment and I started to apply this on my bikini line and just noticed immediately my skin was responding so positively the redness subsided and the ingrown hairs just became less and less or they would just like fall out like you could just if you if I was applying like the clear on my skin I would just notice like the hair would just slip out and my skin was like really responding well. So I highly recommend Clear for helping with ingrown hairs. This was a miracle. Even if you have it, you know, on your face, if you're a guy watching this, you have ingrown hairs in your beard, you know, anywhere in your body, this is really effective. So I did a really good oil targeted product. And then what I did was aloe vera gel. So I just purchased the aloe vera I use is called Nature's Aid and I'll link everything I use in the description so you guys can check it out. Aloe gel is obviously very cooling. It's very anti-inflammatory and this just really, when it was burning or irritated or like a really um, like inflamed ingrown hair came out and it was just really bad, I would put aloe on and this would immediately like cool it and soothe the area. And then another thing I like to use, this is the a glycolic by Mona, um, Monast Monastery. <laughs> Monastery made, and guys, I can't even talk, wow. Easiest word ever. Monastery made, this amazing company based out of California, they have this um, sugar-based glycolic, so it's not chemical-based, it's pretty, like glycolic, glycolic, I'm talking really fast. Glycolic is really great for pigmentation. It's really good for like exfoliation. So I did this about once a week, just as a little treatment. If my skin was inflamed and inflamed and I had more ingrown hairs or like bumps down there, like I did not put this on because this, it's still, you know, it, it's I think the pH is five. She mentioned the girl who makes these products and it's still like, you know, like it'll still be, it's a glycolic. So it's still gonna be a bit harsh and I was just being really cautious, but this I was using for the pigmentation and of course along with the clear serum, which is also really good for like pigmentation as well. So I was using that and that was a very, very effective little three-step treatment. Another thing I did was body brushing. I do this on my whole body. I try and do it every day, but of course after I have a shower, so I don't always have, you know, a shower every single day. I don't like to, because I don't want to strip my skin's natural microbiome. And a lot of people might be saying, oh, that's not really like, that's kind of gross. But no, what, using natural oils, like I use natural, like the body oil every day. I just like want to keep my skin's good bacteria balanced and, you know, washing your skin way too much strips that and it can cause imbalance and cause like dryness or oily skin, acne breakouts. And I experienced that in my skin. It's like really nice ever since I've been doing this. So I body brush. And it's really important to body brush and the bikini line or wherever you get your ingrown hairs. You can also, if you get them on your face, you can use a facial body brush, which I have too. I didn't bring it with me, but you guys know what I mean. And this is a great way to manage that too. So I'll body brush before my shower. And then, so I'm gonna talk more about shaving now, what I do for my shaving routine. So this is my razor. It is by a company called, oh, it's kind of like soapy here. It has like this charcoal soap in it, but it's by Billy. And basically their razor blades are nickel free. And why this is so important, nickel can be very irritating and can cause inflammation. And my ears, it was so crazy. I kind of put two and two together. The girl who did my sugaring was like, what kind of razor do you use? And I was like, oh, 
why, why does that matter? Like it's a razor, whatever. And she was like, does it have nickel in it? And the blades? And I was like, good question because I can't wear any, you know, not, I can't wear anything in my ears that isn't gold or my, my ears just get infected. So I was like, wow, this makes absolute sense. Like no wonder my skin is getting just re and re irritated and you know, redness and bumps and ingrown hairs and all that stuff you don't want. So I switched to Billy. Honestly, this razor was like 10 bucks. So it's really affordable. You get um, the replacement blade shipped to you as much as you shave. I don't really like need to do, I don't shave that much. So for me, I think they send me new blades like every four months or something. So you can do it as much as you shave and as much as you need it. Um, yeah, so it's a really great product, nickel free, really great to use. You can put it on this little magnet. I actually have it over here. So I just stick it on this little magnet and it's like right in my shower and all good to go. And then the second thing I do that is really important, I'm just going to go back to shaving for a sec. So how I shave, a lot of people ask me if I use a shaving cream and I do have a shaving cream that I'll use from time to time because you know, my armpits I find are the number one thing that will still get red bumps because if it's like really hot out and I'm working out and I get that chafing, it'll still, it'll get like bumpy and inflamed. So that's when I'll use like a shaving cream. So it doesn't like, you know, irritate it even more. But what I use all the time is that I actually use the body oil by Shelby Naturals, yours truly, to shave. This is amazing. This, I use the body oil every day on my whole body. I use it as a soap in the shower. So this is just like a super silky body wash. It doesn't foam or set or anything, but you just use, you know, a couple pumps on your whole body and it cleans your skin like an oil cleanser would. And, um, you can use it after the shower as a moisturizer. If you still want to use soap, if you're like, okay, this is too weird. Um, but this totally changed my skin and using like getting rid of soap in the shower and using this instead, just made such a difference. I have no razor burn, no bumps. My skin is really soft and silky. It's glowing. I really have no cellulite. Like even if I did, you know, whatever, but this just has kept my skin so healthy and just helped to move the lymphatic with the body brushing combination and just help it detoxify because whenever cellulite is happening, and obviously it's normal, you know, to get this, but it worsens when, because in our fat cells, that is where our body stores toxins. And when there is just too much toxic accumulation, that's what can lead to cellulite. So that's one little thing. But if you have cellulite, of course you are still beautiful and don't worry about it. But there's ways, if you want to smooth things out a bit more, there's natural ways to do that. And it's also really beneficial for your health, number one. So yes, I will use the body oil to shave. It is really fantastic. You can do it wet in the shower. You can do it dry. I recommend, I like to do it wet, just it gives it a really nice glide. And this is the shaving cream I do use if you guys are interested for when I just need a little bit extra if my skin is irritated. It's the Billy one as well. I think this was maybe $14, $10, something like that. But I really like it because it's clean. I think it's rated like a one on EWG. So it's a really, so that's environmental working group. They have like this natural rating. So it's very clean, very good, really like it. And then last but not least is just a good exfoliant. So exfoliation is really, really important for you can tell I really dive into this one. This is the Shelby Natural Scrub. You can use it on the face and body. I love to use this maybe like two, three times a week. I use it on my face once a week and then on my body two, twice, I think. But this just gives your skin a really nice exfoliation. I really like to target on areas with pigmentation, like my bikini line where I had, because I still have some pigmentation. I have no more ingrown hairs, which I'm so happy and over the moon about. Um, and this just really helps if you do have ingrown hairs or get any just to dislodge them, help them to come out naturally, helps with the pigmentation. This has um, sugar in it as well. So it helps, which naturally has glycolic acid. So again, helping with that pigmentation. There's pineapple, which is enzyme bromelain. So it just really helps to gently exfoliate the skin and help to just naturally cleanse. It has sea salt. So it's really antibacterial just with that, um, you know, the ingrown hair just getting all that out. So. That is really it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and my tips were helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions for anything I talked about and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys and don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Bye.